Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's been a hot minute since I filmed, but I have something to unbox. I'm very excited. As usual, unbox first, talk later. Okay. So it says Le Mer. I bought it from the Le Mer website. It says, thank you for your purchase. We hope you will appreciate the special care given to your order and wish for this Le Mer item to accompany you for a long time. I hope so too. Ooh, I like the feeling of this box. It's really soft. And it's like an interesting color. That's the texture. Focus on me now, focus. Okay. Little book for winter 2022 collection. Invoice, and I think probably the return label because I can return it. It's free shipping and free returns. So if I don't like it, I can return it. I hope I like it. Wrapped Le Mer sticker here. Seems kind of small. I was torn between the small or the medium. There's not many videos or pictures online and the medium looked really big. So I was like, okay, so this is the dust bag it came in. Oh. Oh. I think this is a good size. Okay, so this is the Mare croissant bag in the grain leather. This is a new, like a new season, I guess. Um, they don't normally come in grain leather and so it's only available on the Le Mer website and I just think the grain leather looks better like the lamb skin while it's really soft it gets really like creasy is that the right word like yeah wrinkly um, so I feel like this is better obviously more durable as well the handle is quite like I guess lanky anyway let's put it on Obviously, it's a bit bulky because there's stuff in there, like stuffing. This is like a squishy handle. This is how much space is in there. So, I have like this drink bottle that I can put in. If you want to see if it fits one. It does fit a drink bottle. Obviously, then you don't have much else that you can put in there. But you can put necessities if you want to put a drink bottle in here. This is my Uniqlo bag for comparison. And I would say it is quite similar in size. I'm just going to put a bunch of stuff in here. Let's put in my film camera. Wallet. Hair clip. Mints. Lip balm. Hand sanitizer. Hand cream. Let's put in a big one. Put in tissues. I don't carry all this, but I'm just showing you what it can fit. Like it's got a bunch of stuff in here. This is it on me, like on the front. You would not wear it like that. I would say you'd wear it like to the side, like this, or that's what it looks like on the side. If I have it a bit more back, it's like that. So that's me kind of trying it on. It's like tied, like a knot here, and it kind of looks like that there. Um, the zip doesn't really match the leather, like it's really white, and this leather's a bit cream. This is so cute, it's like squishy. Um, I'm gonna take all this stuff out now. Anyway, it's super squishy. It's like a really soft, nice material. As I showed you before, this is my Uniqlo bag and I love the functionality of it. I like how it kind of molds into your body and that it can fit a lot. Now, this is a much more versatile bag than this one because this one is like, you know, has this croissant shape. So the things you put in here kind of like have to be like that. So. I can see why people would get a medium because it would fit much more. This is more an everyday bag. I think if you carry a lot more, I think the medium might be a much better size option. I haven't seen this in person. I literally just, I guess, took a risk to get this. Yeah, so let's talk a bit about it. Yeah, I love the design of the Uniqlo bag. Basically, I wore this Uniqlo bag 
and I have like two color palettes like sometimes I dress a bit darker sometimes I dress lighter and when I dress lighter I feel like the Unico bag just stands out too much obviously I did consider buying another Unico bag but a different color but I was like do I want two of the same bags and I don't know I think black is the best color to be honest the Unico bag is very casual like a bum bag kind of you know so this being leather is a bit more elevated so I was looking for a leather bag similar to my Unico bag and then I came across the Le Mer croissant bag and I was like a bit hesitant because I didn't love the way the Napa leather or the lambskin leather look but then they released this green leather and I was like oh my god I really want it but it's only available on the Le Mer website and conversion from USD to AED is so bad I paid like 1.8k when it's 1.1k USD but if I was able to buy GBD instead of USD it would have been converted to a much better price but unfortunately if you live in Australia you have to go on the US site not the France site which is GBD so that sucks but I thought about it for quite some time like this even went out of stock and I was like oh my god I should have got it but then when it came back in stock I was like should I and I really thought about it and I just thought you know what it would make me happy to have it as I do I need to stop saying last bag last bag because I think I'm a bad girl and so yeah I like bags and I like that it's light it's comfy a cute bag so um, hopefully no more, but yeah, so yeah, that's my little unboxing of this, so I'm excited to wear it. Obviously, it being a lighter color, I need to be careful with what I wear it with. Yeah, I'm not returning this. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.